I guess it's November. We're approaching the end of the year and oftentimes it's a reflect on Thanksgiving coming up is to reflect all the things that you are thankful for. And today I decided to go on a ride. I haven't been riding, but I just wanted an uncomplicated ride. I ain't have to worry about kids. I ain't have to worry about cycling shoes, routes. I did like the ultimate no-no. I even forgot my watch and didn't even bother to start my Strava. When I remember to start the Strava, I was already like three miles in. I was like, bump it. Why am I interrupting your programming with my uh, babbles? Because we just finished the Hippo Dash event and it was an amazing event and we didn't have any events on the calendar. Actually this year, due to constructions and permitting, we really focused on building the club and sharing goodwill and making sure that we stay connected to the cycling, triathlon, and the running community as best as we can with no events planned. And the Hippo Dash just came about as a last minute thing and it was success. And our team met and it's like, wait a minute, we need to plan for 2024. What's on the calendar for 2024? Every week I get three minimum three requests about when the duathlon is coming back when the triathlon is coming back and i just want to let you know the team is working on it um we have suitable locations that may not have the best bike route or may not have the best swim route or may not have the best run route but we want to bring back the same locations and if we can't do so safely as we grow we're starting to grow you know, a location that might be good for 150 cyclists, 150 people out in Lakeway may not be good for 250 cyclists, right? Unless we have to change some things. As athletes ourselves, Swim, Bike, Run, Fun events and the event board is all made up of athletes. We take risk very seriously. We couldn't live with ourselves if you come back with a boo-boo or a scratch for something that we could have avoided. So we are planning 2024, but I just want to take the time to reflect that I look back at the year and we had some amazing rides. We had some rides that had as much as 65 people. And we have all different types of people in our little swim, bike, run, fun family. But our main goal is to reach and teach newbies and bring them into the sport of triathlons, duathlons, and cycling. It's very easy for people to get involved in running and there are so many run groups. Sheila Crenshaw does an amazing job with the Austin Tri Club um, blending a run group with triathletes. She's over in the North Austin area too. Austin Tri Club does an amazing job. Georgetown Triathletes has a weekly, uh, monthly run that's only like one dollar out in um, Georgetown. So that's not our space. Not to say that we're not good at it, but that's not our space. We really want to focus on cycling. We really want to focus on triathlons and the blending of multi-sport. And so as we go into 2024, we'll be doing some team changes. We'll, doing, we'll be doing some lineup changes. There may not be some necessarily as many group rides as we focus on events. And we need to make sure that we focus manpower, strength, and energy. Because we all have lives too. We do this for fun. We don't do this for profit. We don't do this as our full-time job. So depending on our, our team schedule and depending on, you know, other popular races that are going on around Austin, um, spring is always good for, for, for riding. But then, you know, we don't want to compete. We want to actually collaborate, work with Team Misfits, work with Team Radioactive, try to schedule our some of our stuff around high five events in support of those, in support of MS-150. And of course, we want to make sure that we fill our pipeline for duathlons and triathlons. We may even bring out a co-ed multi-sport this year. But triathlons and cycling is declining. And one of the weakest areas is women. And so if we could increase the number of women participation, the men gonna come. They're just naturally geared towards that. But if we could increase the number of women involved in multi-sport, everybody wins. And that's our primary goal. So I just wanted to take some time to tell you I was thankful for a grateful 2024. December, I'm usually traveling super busy and I don't want somebody to say, man, swim bike, what? you haven't heard from us in a while. We're about to take all of us. It's about to take the road for the holidays. So I just thought, let me just stop, take a pause while I was on my uncomplicated ride. Check out Candy Crush um, and saying happy Sunday.